than 3,000 ladies weaving their rock for us. All different size, shape, and colors. Now, if I will weave these rugs, we need a fabric. Uh, one of the interesting ones is the silk one. We use wool and cotton as well. So if you come around, I'll show you this silk. Please come around. <coughs> silk is, uh, we always use the natural fabric. Silk fabric is we obtain from the cocoon. Now I'll pass some of these cocoons around. Please feel them, shake them. You will hear the budget still inside. Yes. You will hear the budget still there, yes. Oh, okay. Uh, it's not alive, don't worry. She's like scared. Don't worry, it's not alive. Don't worry, it's fine. Uh, these silkworms eating the mulberry leaves, nothing else. They became a caterpillar. Now, if you look at those uh, pictures on the wall, it will explain the life of a silkworm. Silkworms, it's, uh, it's a type of uh, a silkworm called Bombyx mori latte. There are three different types in the world. Turkey uh, is one of the top, top producer of the silk as well. Now the pictures will explain the life of a silkworm. Uh, they eat the mulberry leaves, they became a few inches long caterpillar. And those caterpillars start creating this liquid protein shell, which is that one. It's oxidized with air, it goes hard. Once they complete the shell, they leave a liquid acid, break through the shell, became a butterfly. And the female ones will be laying the wax. So that's the lifespan of a silkworm. So we have to catch these before they break through the shell, because if the shell is broken, it's not good, because we need a continuous silk threads. Now, if you pull these, as you can see, they're very fragile. They're not very strong. Once they get boiled, you has got one of these tools, it's gonna catch them and then twist them and then we can create the individual yard. Yeah, hello. So that winding one. Yes. Oh. What happened is now it's just literally boiling in a hot water, just a drop in the water. He's that brush allow us to catch these individual track very easily. He's twisting them. This is where they gain this track. When you go over the bridges, next time, look at those metal wire holding the bridge. They never use a single metal wire. They always use the twisted one, exactly the same idea. So one day, once they get twisted, they became so strong. And now, you can feel it. That's the natural silk. And each cooking can create up to a mile long fiber. Can you imagine? One mile long fiber. Approximately a mile long fiber. Obviously, that's getting unwind from the cocoon itself. Now, that's the, that's the silk thread. Please touch them, feel them. Oh, Yeah, it's not so soft yet, is it? Please pass it around. No, it's not so soft yet. Now, once we wash them, color them, and steam iron, now feel the difference. Washed and colored. Mm. Washed, color and steam iron. And that will allow us here, you know, that will become much softer. Please pass it around as well. Make sense? Yes, mm -hmm. that's a beautiful silk. Uh, silk is the, yeah, silk is the natural fabric. Oh, it's strong. Very strong. Wow. Now there are ladies behind that are weaving a uh, rock for us. Yes. Now, ladies and gentlemen, <coughs> uh, weaving art, beautiful silk. This is a uh, uh, dying art. So that's why we have uh, these qualified then actually instructor as well. You might see old ladies around weaving a rug, so don't mind them, they're just learning practicing. And they come and go as is their ease because this is not a factory, this is just a place where they learn. Now when we weave this rug we need a, a loop. These are gonna be small size of a set, so we just need a, a small loop, but for larger rugs we need a much larger looms. Um, we don't stitch the pieces if you see a big rock. So the, the height of the, the rock, the length, is no problem. We can roll. They can always sit in front of the loom and weave them. But the width, there is nothing we could do. If the rock is seven feet wide, loom has to be wider than the circumference. Like a ten feet wide. Then there may be, you may see two, three ladies weaving a rock side by side. And again, uh, some of those rocks so big, like palaces, what they did, like 20 feet wide. So they built the actual loom inside the roof. Once they complete the rock, they take apart the loom, they left the rock there. 
or they lock the side of the wall in order to put the rock inside because the actual rock is more precious than the bricks of the wall. Now that's the chart that they follow. If you look at them, both of them have a chart. Now on the chart, there are tiny little boxes, little squares. They represent the each knot, so they follow them. Four blue tube, horizontal row. Uh, they memorize it after a while. Yeah. Keep checking, I've been in front of the balloon for such a long time as well. Now what she's doing is the double nut, because only the Turkish rocks make it a double nut. Persian rock, Chinese rock, Morocco rock, they have a single nut. Single nut. That's the Turkish double nut. The green one is the single one. That's a kidim, flat weaves. See the one on the wall? That's a kidim. That's a flat weave. Now, I'm going to show you what she's doing on the loop. Uh, that's the Turkish double nut. I try to pull this. It's impossible. It won't come off. More you walk on them, the tighter they get. That's why do you see these rocks in a museum, part of the collection. Hundreds of you still intact. Because this is what's on a machine made rock, no, not just a twist. That's what's on a machine made rock. Of course, the single nut, which is the Persian one, they wrap all the ones. They are doing slowly. They are doing slowly. They're wrapping the first one and the second one and pull them down together. You can watch both of them. I ask them to go to slowly. First one, second one, and pull them down. So what they're gonna do now, next? They have one of these tool called kirkit. Where we be kirkit? Uh, once they complete the whole line of knots, we call this the vertical line, warp, knots, and weft. That's the weft, which is a locking system. Mm -hmm. So whichever direction you walk on them, they will never ever come up. And using these tools to compact them more in the same area, but there are some visual effects later on, you will see. Now we're gonna trim these using one of these scissors, similar like what you have at home, slight differences, both sides be bent. Same idea, mm -hmm. but it's adjustable. Why? Because some rack have a long pile, some rack have a short pile. This is how we adjust the length of the pile. Okay, so if you make it loose here, it's obviously it's gonna be much larger one. She's gonna trim them now. Yes, ma'am. Can you see the surface now? Make sense? Okay. Then the kids will work. You say, we jump in. She can also cut through for every time the kids will work. She watch her as well. She's cutting them as well. They know what they're doing. My goodness. Any questions so far? You can make a little rock now back home. <laughs> yes. How long does it take to train? To yeah, basic training is six months. Six months. But once they qualify, then we give them a loom and then they can do that in, in their mind. Yes. Six months training. More to the castle. Beautiful rock. That's a self. On a Now, ladies and gentlemen, we've got three beautiful rock here. They're all Turkish, they're all handmade. They're all beautiful, different type of a rock. Just a quick. Question. Which one do you think that will cost you the most money? This one. No, you are wrong. That, I mean, that was the easy question anyway. This one is the most money. It costs you the most money. Not the blue one. This, right. this part the blue one. Why do you think that this one? More detail. More detail, exactly. This is a simple one. That's a wool one. That's a wool on cutting combination. 
Now, that was an easy one, but sometimes you might get confused because you might see two silk rock, very similar looking, or two wool rock, or a two wool on cut, but different prices. Um, so how do you think that we can actually price these rocks? We don't price them by the look or the, the size, we price them by the labor. But how are we gonna see the labor of these rocks? Because we are not sitting with the lady when they made these rocks. And we don't watch them with a camera, like in front of you know, how many hours they work, do they actually get paid by the labor? You know what we do? We don't look at the front of this rock, we look at the back of the rocks. Look at the back of these rocks. Now, if you don't mind standing up, come closer to this wool one, please. You can step on them as well. Please come around. Now, if you look at this one, you see these uh, colored dots like uh, maybe the rust color quite easily see in this one. They are the back of the knots. So we count them. One inch vertical, one inch horizontal, we multiply them so we can find out how many knots per square inch. In this wool rack, we have about 80, 90 knots per square inch. Approximately. Can go up to 120 knots. Average, from maybe 6 to 120 range. The blue one, we're talking about almost 360 knots per square inch. How many times more labor? Are you good in maths? No? <laughs> Four times more labor, give or take, if you compare to that one. So whatever that rack will cost, this will cost you four times more. And the silk one, 645 knots per square inch. So you're talking about seven times more? Uh, whatever that rock will cost, this will cost you seven times more. That's how we price them. But that doesn't mean that that wool rock is a inferior quality. This is not like a buying a car. You pay more money, you get a better one. No, they're all good for. They all last hundreds of years. You can see a beautiful wool rock in a museum from a 16th century, it's still looking beautiful. But why some rock costs more? Maybe your taste costs more because of the more labor. That's all it is. How can you count 600 dollars? Uh, yeah, because if you look at the jewelry guys, they have a special loop, okay. okay, so they can look down and they will magnify the area, so with a measuring inside, one inch vertical, one inch horizontal, then you can. So far, your eyes are able to count, which is right, so if you look at it with a special magnifying loop, we call it, so you can actually count them easily. Same thing that the jewelry guys do, when they look with the details, so they exactly. That one will be fairly easy, but this is maybe easy, but that will be quite difficult. So some of the silk ones we have can go up to one and a half thousand knots. I'll show you some of those ones, but they're not meant for a floor. They're like a tapestry, they're like mm -hmm. an art form of making wax, which we will see later, and only the special ones make with those ones. Now, please take a seat of the wax, many region making wax, but one of the first important uh, thing in the travel wax are the colors. Uh, when we look at these colors, you'll see barbin colors and variations as well. That's a beautiful tribal piece from a southeast part of the country, all with vegetable dyes. Uh, that's why these are beautiful color variations. The next one is at Chaldir, um, on the Berlin Dervish area. Marco Polo has been here a little bit before. You mentioned the beautiful color of this rock. Ashwatam. Look at these colors. That's a beautiful color. So that's an ancient killing design originally. It's a very, very old design, these ones. And right in the east, you might heard Angora before. Angora wool. Angora is a, it's a goat. Uh, the, our capital is Ankara. It's where it's named after. And that's a beautiful Angora. Okay. That's the old Turkoma design, very ancient design. Beautiful two come out piece. Trunklardan açıştılar, trunklardan açıştılar. I'd like to show these rock in a different sizes as well. So if you like one of these rocks, they will never come exactly the same. They will come in a many different sizes. Çelik de açın, 3 by 5, 4 by 6, 5 by 7. That's a kind of contemporary one, this one. Çelik de açın, çelik de Evet, 
Arthur. Yan Gidlici. Our drinks are ready. Let's have the drinks. You can see cheers in Turkish. Uh, it's from the west part of the country. They were uh, so famous for making this beautiful rock. Not only this region, uh, lots of palaces in Europe in the 16th century. You can see all the Ushak rock in that place. One on the wall is uh, beautiful. That's an old Ushak classic design. I prefer wool on cut in this time, but still the vegetable dyes. Earth also had to practice for this rock. Meant for a heavy traffic areas, these Ushak rocks. Huh? Living room, dining room or in a foyer, you can use them. So I do check it out. You see the earth tones are the main characters of these rocks. Foyer, I just Now, next one is uh, Royal Hurricane. Um, Royal Herica is a brand name, you know, like Royce Royce, Rolex. Yeah. This is Royce Royce of the rocks. Makes more sense than In the late 18th century, they set up the best workshop in the world, small town called Herica. They were making beautiful textile product rocks yes. for palaces in Istanbul. But they had the designers, so they haven't used the tribal design. They had the artists who used to work for palaces, not necessarily the Turkish designer. And Italian painters like doing their portraits. So these rocks are actually designed by artists and they had the best fabric, finest wool, finest cut and the silk. The perfection was one of the most important thing in these rocks. And, uh, they all come usually royal colors, the blacks, navy blues, beige, crimson, not just the you see the, if you talk, if you don't mind I'd like to ask you a little favor your shoes are easy. Do you mind taking your shoes off? And if you like, take your shoes off and socks off. And keep it off all during the demonstration. Do you mind standing up? By the way, when you finish your drink cups, leave them underneath your seat. Yeah, you can grab your sandwich with you, it's fine. Walk around, be brave. Walk around, feel them. Please, you can take your shoes and socks off anytime of the demonstration, walk on them. And tell us which one you, you like the best. Yes, sir. Yes. Is the ends of the carpets are different? Is there, is there any significance? Yeah, to there is. Um, the tribal rocks, yes, you can have it like tied up as well. And there's an expression if the girl is in the trouble. Uh, the Sultan's collection, they will never do it. But on tribal one, if the girl is tied up, engaged, married, that's it. If it is free, they are free to get any catch. Okay? So that's what it means. But again, in the Sultan's collection, they never tie up like those ones. Uh, which one did you like the best? I like these two. These two. Yeah. Did you hear that, sir? She liked yeah, these two, yes? <laughs> Let's see. Do you mind standing up, madam? Please stand up and walk around. Please. And keep it up because we're going to see the silk ones shortly as well. Because that, that with the wool cut and silk in those ones. You have three different fabric in these ones. Again, Turkey is a large country. Later on, when you walk on the wool rocks, you will feel slightly different uh, texture and feel. The reason is, in the east, we get snow six months of the year that reflect on the animal. And again, in this part of the world, we get more humidity. And again, the warm temperature, that again changes as well. So that's a fact on the wool and the animals, so you will get the different feeling. Now, I'd like to show you something different. Let's see, would you able to spot the difference in this one? Anyone? Have right, a guess. What's different in this one? Is it wool? Not the fabric, madam. Although I won't make it too difficult. Colors. You know the colors? Neutral colors. Amber. 
white from a white sheet, brown from a brown, totally initial color of the gray from a gray, totally initial color of the animal. So we don't color these rock wool, and these are all different colors. Right? You think we're in the Now the silk on silk in a living room dining room size wax. Keep your socks on. You gotta walk on the silk. Yeah, the silk <coughs> is a uh, beautiful fabric itself. It's not being used by the tribal people in the countryside. Silk is used by the Valtteri people also in Paris. There are lots of Valtteri business people and families in the Ottoman time. And uh, governors, mayors, they want they the bigger houses. They want to impress uh, the, their society. And they use beautiful silk rocks. Silk is the strongest natural part of the fabric. You know, Romans, they cut the marble with the silk. They use that in like for more So people ask, well, okay, silk fragile. Silk is the actually the most durable part. But again, the finest <coughs> fabric, because it's the finest, of course, that will uh, have the finest workmanship, will be the highest price as well. Two ladies work for this price, approximately three, side by side. Yeah, three, three years? Yes. Two ladies. Two ladies. Look at the color <coughs> that about to. You know it's something? Color changing. We don't fuck around the great dish in the last paper. They see the different size of the stuff. They should make that that little bit more one to do it. She was hammering them down. I said, there's a, some kind of magic about this. That's the magic. Because all the fog on a big Turkish rock, they never stay straight. They always bound one way. Like in one way. So one side is smooth, one side is rough. That's what's happening in these rocks. Smooth side reflect, rough side observe. Even you like a wool rock, look at them from a different angle, you will see the color will be changed. But of course, it's much more clear in a silk one. But even you like a wool one, absolutely will change the color. Right, Kaisen Kelly, you got the Now, color changing rocks. One thing we haven't talked about is prices. Do you want to know any price? Sure, okay. I can't give a set price for this, that's not possible. I'll guide you how the price works. Do you remember the first three rocks we talked about? The labor, again, the same thing in the in these rocks. That's a beautiful seven by ten size uh, rock. Beautiful wool on cotton. In US dollar, everyone from US, so American dollar should be fine. Take a guess how much this rock should cost. And a wild guess. Young man, how much do you think? Get in gas. $2,000. More than a year work. You want to think twice? No. $40,000. $40,000. Eight thousand, fifteen thousand, twenty thousand, seven fifty. So more than a year workmanship. She's more generous. We'll deal with you. Okay. How much do you think, man? Thirty thousand. Thirty thousand. Thirty thousand. Thirty thousand. You still think forty thousand? Yeah, I'll buy my last Thank you. So today, they get forty thousand dollars. He will help you with the paperwork. He will bring the paperwork. Yeah, Now that rock in America will be about eight thousand, ten thousand, average in America. Gentleman is right. About maybe twelve in America. This rock here will cost you two thousand four hundred U.S. dollar. Shipped, delivered right up to your door. We saw some other one with a bit less labor, might cost you 1500 but we saw some other finer one, wool on cutting with a silk. You can go in this size up to five, six, maybe up to 15. But again, some of these silk ones can go up to seven times more in price, eight times more in price. Again, the people who make silk, they get paid more money because they're more talented people. In any job, you know, you can compare it to two guys, someone is new, someone has been 
without qualified, they don't they get paid more. There are hundreds of different types of prices. So you can get a small rack for a few hundred dollars or maybe silk one for a few thousand dollars. So what you need to do, you need to speak to my colleagues because I can answer all my questions, all of your questions. You need to go with them different showrooms. I have 6,000 rack in this building and about uh, 15 more empty showrooms. You can see the rack on every floor, compare the size, color, price. Any question about individual design, they will be very happy to help you and talk to you about it. And don't feel like you're obliged to buy anything. Go and see that, juggle around the rocks, you find something, then with your business. Otherwise, you're more than welcome. Thank you for coming. Thank you for listening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.